all right this is a xenon or a scoptic and the uh, ship it here for uh, no power one turn on doesn't turn on okay let's check the battery voltage oh zero volt uh, there is some brownish in the battery connector like overheated or something or it just is uh, plastic like discolored from the age yeah not even one volt and yeah this area you can see it looks brownish like overheat and that area is there is a charging IC and there is TVS diode the protection diode over there let's go to the microscope yeah, this area is faced overheat and even you can see the flux and the solder start like melted and yep all right let's check that diode now go to the diode mode and yeah completely short this diode one side is connected to the positive one side is connected to the negative of the charger So it's, you see these two wires of the charger, it shirts it completely. So that's the charging IC and that's a charging coil. This is the ground right here and we check in the coil to see if there is a shirt. Yes, there is a shirt. The fuse is still good. Yes, still good. Yep, mostly the, the IC is bad. I'm gonna remove the IC first. The chip it was fused in the with the board. So I knock out one diode. So I wanna figure out where is this one goes from. And we have our capacitor right here. But I'm gonna go back to the video to see where that diode uh, come from.
probably check the do we still have a shirt right here no the shirt is gone 0 0.4 and if we flip 1.7 I'm gonna put some solder and uh, on the chip to make it more easy. Let's plug it to the to the charge, like five volt.
whip is taking 800 milliamp and we have the orange light yeah the chip is not getting hot yeah it feels normal okay let's see the the voltage Three point three, three point three two, and the charge is going up. Three point three three. So let's give it a little charge, and I think the device is fixed. So yeah, it's been charging for a little bit now. And I'm gonna unplug the charger and let's turn it on. Yep, it's power on. Yeah, this connector is a little bit deformed and they had to replace it. Could be from the heat and the chip or from when we we were trying to to remove the chip because this was like fuse it to the board so we cut a piece of the time up to keep the chip is uh, you know the charging chip is normal is get warm but it's good like we put something to cool it down So this is all for this video, thank you for watching, see you again.